Hello and welcome to this special segment on NewsX. I'm Udaya Pratap Singh. We track for you the single most important question on everyone's minds who's winning 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be bringing you the exit polls right here on NewsX at 6 p.m. on the 1st of June and the results all day live on the 4th of June. But until then, we're getting you the daily expertometer where analysts put together what they feel the pulse is. Today, we have political analyst and advocate Ashutosh Sharma joining us. Let's start uh, with uh, his overall analysis of 543 seats. So welcome, uh, Ashutosh, and thank you so much for being with us today. What's your sense? What is the Lok Sabha going to be looking like post the 4th of June? Well, it's going to be a repeat of the previous year. BJP is going to come back in the Lok Sabha. Uh, percentage of uh, seats will be minus uh, plus 10 uh, 10 percent uh, approximately they will be subject to uh, seats okay uh, let's uh, start out now uh, with a with a break up uh, state by state uh, let's uh, t get your perspective on what's going to be happening in tamil nadu well tamil nadu is the dmk DM, uh, Tamil Nadu, you got uh, DMP is going to get majority of the seats and three, four seats they will be uh, split in among the other parties. BJP might get two seats in Tamil Nadu. Okay. What about Karnataka, sir? How is that looking? Karnataka, BJP is slightly better, but Congress will has an edge over BJP. And local parties are more influential in the, this southern part than in northern India. BJP, Congress, these parties have more influence on the mind of the people in northern part of India, but uh, southern part of India, they have their own DMK, very powerful in Tamil Nadu. Karnataka, Congress has some good position, so Congress will be better and the BJP will be in second place in Karnataka. What about Madhya Pradesh, uh, Ashutoshi? How is Madhya Pradesh looking? Madhya Madhya Pradesh, uh, you got 29 seats, right? Yes. So BJP is going to, B, BJP secured all the seats in Madhya Pradesh and uh, Uttar Pradesh. There will be a difference of three, four seats this time in favor of BJP. They might get 24, 25 seats. In MP. Okay. Let's talk 29. about Rajasthan now, sir. Rajasthan, again, they have 25. I am predicting 21, 22 seats for BJP. Okay, let's talk now about uh, Gujarat, the home state of Prime Minister Modi and Amit Shah. Yeah, it's the home state for uh, Modi, so there won't be much difference. Maybe one seat goes to Congress, but BJP is going to do the repetition of the previous election. Okay, let's, let's talk about the national capital now, Delhi. Delhi, BJP is going to get six out of seven. That's my analysis. <coughs> Okay. One, uh, one seat might go to our party. Yes. Uttar Pradesh now, sir. They say the road to Delhi is through UP. What's UP looking like? Well, Uttar Pradesh has got 80 seats, out of which 72, 73 seats are going to BJP. And four or five seats go to the ally, uh, in, India allies. And then two, three seats will be taken over by other parties. Maybe Congress might get one. Maybe they might open a count in UP. Let's talk about Bihar now, sir. How is Bihar looking? Bihar is again a khichdi, is a RJD and Congress, other parties, but BJP is going to have an edge over other parties. The politically interesting state of West Bengal, sir? West Bengal TMC is quite powerful. BJP is not going to make much dent in the bastion of uh, uh, Mamta Banerjee. And uh, Two, three seats might go to the leftist. And finally, how is Maharashtra I am predicting looking? Two to three seats. Maharashtra is uh, Uddhav Thakre, BJP, Shinde group, and two power groups. So, this is going to Shinde group since they are in power with the other parties. They are in the ruling party in uh, Maharashtra. So, they got uh, the, around 20 seats. And Shad Pawar, Ajit Pawar group, they are going to have four, five seats each. Then Uddhav Party, Uddhav group might get another five, six seats. 
All right, uh, Mr. Sharma, thank you so much for being with us today on this uh, special segment. And we now await the 4th of June to see if your predictions come true or not. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.